What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Train Simulator 2017. And we're playing a route and a train I've never actually driven before. And by never driven I mean I'm literally jumping in here for the first time ever with you guys. And it's pretty cool, we're at London St Pancras and we're on the London, Fav London to Faversham high speed line. Faversham, I don't think I said that right. Which is in the south east of England. And we're going along high speed one, which is the high speed line from London to France. But we're only going down a certain time. I think it's to Ebbsfleet. And then we're getting off onto a normal route. So this is the class 395 Javelin. And first impression, it reminds me a lot of the class 800, which is the new train they're using on the Great Western Main Line. And we're in a 12 car set. And... I suppose the only thing to do really now is to head out. So we're going to go internal view. Going to turn on. This has a very similar cockpit to the. Ooh, cancel the AWS. To the uh, TGV, like the same uh, signaling system. What is that? I don't know what I did then. Like it's got the kilometers per hour. And the little arrow and the same speed. It's very similar. It even has the same signaling system because you need it on high speed wood. So we're going to get going. So we've got to reduce the brake. It's in forwards already. So uh, what's left to do? I've got a feeling there's something left to do. Right, the lights aren't on for a start. We need to turn them on. Lovely heights. Apparently we're going to sandwich according to the top board. I don't know, that might be right. So let's head out. So internal view and P1, we're moving. So the speed limit right now is 25. Uh, is that miles or kilometers per hour? I'm not exactly sure. That is miles per hour, but the dashboard's in kilometers an hour. That's something to note. That's unusual. So we're going to be pulling out a year, and very shortly we're going to be on the high speed line. I don't know if we're stopping, i got to be honest, it's just a quick drive scenario, I wasn't planning on making this, I just decided to a minute ago. So I don't know if we're going through any stations, if we are I'll stop at it, I don't know the stops on this thing we're speeding. I don't know the stops on this route, but if we go for any stations I'll stop at it. The speed limit's about to go up to 40 miles an hour, and then it's going up to uh, 140, so that's pretty fast. I'm just going to give it a notch of power. This is quite cool. Very busy, like a lot of tracks here. Nothing compared to like Paddington and stations like that. But still quite a lot of tracks. A lot of train routes do go into London. It's got like six or seven big terminuses. Right, I don't know which way we're going to go here. Probably down and under I would have thought, yep. Speed limit's going up to 40 now. we got to wait for the end of the train to pass the speed board though. So I started my new job guys, I did tell you about it in the last video, working for Amazon in their warehouse and it's quite easy, all you really have to do is collect people's pa uh, parcels, packages, whatever it is, Oop, break. and you scan them in, Oop, put a bit of throttle now, these controls aren't very sensitive, you scan them in, put them in the right place then basically load them for the truck drivers pretty easy quite repetitive though I'm on 10 hour shifts at night and the coffee machine was broken yesterday that sucked oh look at that we're going over more train tracks there uh, can I go outside shot? yeah right into a bridge into a tunnel that's not very good right this is where we can really start speeding now so speed limit's gone up to si it's currently 60 kilometers an hour. So we was about to speed then, and now it's going up to 140. Give it a second. 225 kilometers an hour. Look at that. That's faster than any other British train lines, which are all limited to 125 miles an hour due to the speed limit. So we're going to go pretty fast. I'm not sure what the top speed of this train is train is as I said I just jumped in here five minutes ago loaded bandy cam and started recording that's literally it we're going downhill so we should accelerate pretty fast but yeah my job is pretty easy but it's also very tiring 
but it really is tiring. 10 hours working from midnight till 10.30 in the morning. We get two breaks, that's pretty good, but as I said, the coffee machine was broken yesterday, which sucked. So I had to survive off Coca-Cola. <laughs> There's not very much to view in this first part of the train. It, it'd be nice if they went actually through London, but I think that'd be pretty cool so you could see some of the sights around London. I don't know how long this tunnel is, probably quite a few miles I would imagine. And we're going to be going through a station soon. What station is it? Where are we? Wow, that's quite a long route. So we're going to be stop going through, I don't think we're stopping, at... What is this? Stratford. That's where the Eurostar stops. But yeah, we're going right through the middle of it. And then the next stop after that, which I think we will stop at, is over here somewhere. Which one is it? Dagenham? Not sure. No, I don't think we stop there. No, we don't. We run parallel to it. Uh, I don't know. But let's go back in the cabin because we need to have an eye on our speed. Let's just knock the throttle back a little bit. So, we're in neutral for a bit. Try P1. Try to balance the speed pretty well. P2? Right, P2 accelerates as P1 slows us down. That is good to know. So we're going for Stratford now, I think, in a minute. Oops, speeding again. D1, come on. These controls are really not sensitive. I, I really want to see what it looks like when we get out of this tunnel to see how fast we're going. Right, we're leaving one tunnel now. I think we go straight into another one though, if I remember right. I have actually been on this route in real life. I went to Paris. This was years ago when I was like a kid. <coughs> Excuse me. They were, they were out signals, those blue and white, blue and yellow markers. They're the things we need to pay attention to. But I'm not going to accelerate even though we're blowing speed because we're going downhill pretty steeply. And we're picking up speed as you can see. In fact I might need to reduce the throttle a little bit. Nope. That worked out perfectly. Right, I think this next, this tunnel we're in now, I think it's actually longer than the other one. I'm not really sure. It's currently 20 past 2 in the morning. Which is, working nights screws up your body clock. Like, to me now, it feels like mid-afternoon. But as I said, it's coming up past 2 in the morning. Like, I only got up at, I think it was 11pm I got up. I went to sleep at about... One, two. So this is my first day off. I got three days off in a row, then four days back on, ten hour shifts, forty hours a week. So yeah, it's, it's a good job. I'm not gonna lie, not the best job, but as I said, I can imagine it's quite wearing after a few months working there. Like even that, I've been there a week and it's pretty like oh, tiring. Just want to get home, go to bed. The thing that sucks most about it, other than the fact the coffee machine breaks, is after you do all the easy stuff, just carrying individual packages, putting them in the thing, right when you're the most tired, at about 7 o'clock in the morning until, until you finish your shift, you just spend all your time, come on, throttle, you spend all your time putting massive bags full of boxes that weigh about 30, 40 kilos on the trolleys, what, six at a time, you could have up to 20 bags in a route plus, and you just got to go load them, carry them around, and that's the suckiest part of the job, I don't like doing that, I've got to be honest. It's the first bit is easy, the second bit absolutely kills you. Like, my back and feet are still having a problem now, they're just killing. Right, I'm looking at the distance, right? we've got 4.7 miles to go, but I don't know how long we spend on the high speed line, I'd imagine a fair bit of time. I remember that we do parallel the normal route, but it doesn't have any traffic on it, which is a bit of a shame. But we're going to be going past normal network rail lines in a minute. Is that the end of the tunnel? No, it can't be. It's just a graphics thing. Actually, that is the end of the tunnel up there, I think. Is it? I'm not sure. I think that is, yeah, that is the end of the tunnel there. Right, so we're coming up above surface now at 135 miles per hour. 
give it D2. I don't know why the controls aren't sensitive in this train. Like you really have to push the trigger then. Right, that's normal network rail routes on the side there. So that's where a normal train go. We're on the high speed line. This is where the Euro Eurostar trains and these trains travel. I think it is only these two trains that use it. It's the fastest track in Britain, this is. Because we don't really have anything like the TGV in France. It is quite slow. Nothing compared to America. American trains never seem to go above 55. You know, like very few routes. I, I know a few of them get up to like 79 plus, but they're not very fast American trains. Can't be fair. Right, now we're starting to separate off from the normal routes. So let's go back inside. We are going pretty damn quickly. But as I said in the TGV, this game, the one thing it needs on routes like this is motion blur. Something to make it feel like you're going 140 miles per hour. It just doesn't feel that fast. A lot of pylons around here. And their draw distance isn't very good either. <laughs> zoom in, draws them, zoom out, takes away the little... I don't know why you call them, the rubber things that hold the wires Oh, it's speeding. I think we crossed over to the No, I don't do not. Is that a motorway on the other side there? <laughs> that was quick. What is that? That is a river, or it's meant to be, I think. Ooh, the interior was nice there. Let's get back inside. Nice. I would not mention it. We even get free biscuits, coffee, and an iPad. That's pretty good. Only us, though. No one else has an iPad. Hmm. Can we change seats? Oh, we've left our train track friends, they're over there, I think. I don't know where the train tracks that were next to us have gone. Right, back inside. I, I do need to start keeping an eye on the speed limit, because I think we're reducing our speed quite a lot soon. I don't know. It does give us quite a lot of warning in this train, so... It should be pretty easy to, to slow down for a station or whatever. Wakes me up like this. It's like a godsending work. At break, rush out, have my sandwich that I've made right the speed of the splash in so I can have more power. Yeah, rush out, have my sandwich, have a bit of my bacon and some drink. And then go back in for the next five hours. Oh, it's fun. Ooh, I wonder where this road we're going under is. Right, we've got to get down to 200, so we should do that. I'll give it a little bit of break just to be sure. I'm not sure if it's the same as the TGV where if you're going more than like 16 kilometers an hour over you get the brake but let's be safe and sorry. Ooh, I think we're just gonna make it. Ooh, maybe not. No, 202 we went through that then. Oh well, it's only 2 kilometers an hour over. We've already knocked 10 miles off our um, distance. At ETA it's 10.33. That's wrong, considering it's 3 p.m. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, crap. Is there emergency brake on? No, just our brakes are very strong. I don't know what that noise is. I'm pressing the AWS reset doesn't stop it. Right, brakes off. No, emergency brakes on. Son of a gun. I don't even know why that happened. Right, let's throw the brakes on and reset them. No, go wait for a stop. Of course we do. Damn. Oh, I hate the emergency brake. It sucks. And go again. Let's go full throttle. Why not? Let's gun it since we're going to be behind schedule now. Why is the ETA saying 11 o'clock when it's 3 in the afternoon? I think that's wrong. So Faversham's over there, 30 miles away. You're in a quick drive for the path being set to your final destination. On the way, you are free to perform other actions such as picking up passengers. 
This quick dry scenario will complete when you stop at the final destination. Thanks. I already kind of knew that, but okay. Right, I'm not going to break a hundred here since the speed limit goes down in a moment. I think we're going back onto con conventional systems now with lights and speed limits and stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I got a sore throat. It's because the coffee machine was broken. <laughs> just playing on the coffee machine. Right, let's just give it P0. Let's give it no power. Right, P1. See if that holds it. I feel, yeah, we're coming into Ebb's Fleet now. I'm going to stop at Ebb's Fleet. Why not? It's like we're getting off the high speed line now, so we might as well start stopping places. I wonder if there's a way to change the track ahead of you. That just means that the signaling system stops at the next uh, signals, so don't have to worry about that. I think. I hope that's right. I think we are meant to stop them. Sugar, we need to start braking. Who's going a lot faster than I realised then? Right, let's slow it down to, yeah, about that. Actually, might no, break a little bit more. 25%, we should stop in time. Uh, don't know what that beep was then. Let's give it a fair bit of break now. We, I don't think we're going to stop. I know, we might just about manage it. Yeah. 40, no, break a bit more. There. That was actually perfect. I'm proud of that. Right, open the doors is T, I think. Is it T? I always forget. Yes, it is. Let's go in the carriage. That's one thing I do like about the new train sim world. You can walk around, you have a body, and you can just walk around whenever. That's pretty cool. There's the toilet. Not very good texture on that. Through these doors, beep beep, yeah, they just opened. Doors still open. It is a lovely interior. It's just a shame you can't move seats. No, get off. Ooh, just in time, do you see that? Amazing, amazing reflexes. Right, back inside, break off. No, that's on. And let's go. Where's next? I have no idea what the next stop is. Right. We need that on, we need the brakes off, and let's go for it. Outside view. Actually, no, what I'm going to do, turn that off, and then go outside view as it pulls off. And I uh, can't remember what i got to do. I think I'm just putting the brakes on. No. Okay. Uh, something's broken. Emergency brakes on. Right, so it's trigger I need to press. I probably should know that. Nope, something's beeping in there. Can you, like, shut up? Right, you gonna work now? Right, it should work now. Jeez, how much effort does that take? Go. Nope. Not gonna work. Now it works. Screw you, train. God, that was a lot more effort than it needed to be. But now we switched over power mode, so there's no more pantographs connecting to those lines up there. Oops, signal. Hello. No more pantograph connecting to that. Instead, we're using third rail. I'll show you that in a moment. I got the feeling we're speeding. I don't know if I just nuke her in neutral or what, but something happened. If we're speeding, I'll deal with that when we go to it. But now we are using this as our power mode, this rail here. That is how we're getting our power. Right, we need to go back in the cabin, cockpit, whatever you call it. Right, we're not speeding, so we can go for it. There was just a beep, I have no idea what that means. But, oh well. Right, now our thing's in miles per hour, how, as it should be, because we use miles per hour in the UK. God, this corner looks quite sharp, don't it? God, that was a sharp corner. 
Not sure if that's meant to be a 60 there. But whatever. Right, we're coming up to Gravesend Loop. I don't know what that is. But the speed limit's going down to 30. So we need to bear that in mind. Gonna pop in neutral. And we're gonna get ready to slow down. It's in a mile, but still. Better be safe than sorry. Speed limit's now 70 for us though. We're 28 miles from our destination. I've never been to Faversham. But I don't know anything about Faversham other than the fact it's in safety single. I think it might be in Kent, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know nothing about Faversham. Don't know much about safety Stingle, to be honest. I've got family that lives in Hastings, and I go to Hastings quite a lot. Hastings is nice. But yeah, I don't really go to England that much. Right, I'm going to start braking. 25% should be fine. 0.3 of a mile. Oh gosh, right after the signal, God, that is coming up fast. Let's go 40% brake. No, that's not a signal, that's a repeater. So, let's reduce the brake a little bit. AWS warning. That's probably telling us there's a speed, board, a speed limit coming up. Oh my god, we have a red light. Crap. We just went through a red light. Now I have to reset everything. That absolutely sucks. I don't know why we went through a red light. I don't know why we had a red light. I just was not paying attention. Now I've got to reset the brake. And print forward. I'm just going to go to the next light and hope there's nothing in front of us. Because we've gone through it now, so it's not going to change. Otherwise we'd just be sat there forever. So I'm just going to see what the next light is. It's not very far away. I'm sure the operator won't mind. I'm sure we're not going to kill anyone. We might do, but that's not my fault. Ooh, where are we from? It's Brave's End. Is that a station? I don't think that is a station. I'm pretty sure it's not. No, we're going right through the middle of it, that's fine. We could have stopped if it was a station. Right, what's the next light? Green. Let's go for it. No, we can't. 30 zone. <laughs> oh, wow. Why the heck did we have a red light? That is stupid. There's nothing in front of us. And the next light was green. That's just ridiculous. I probably should have been paying attention to the signals, but, you know, who... it's, it's a game. It doesn't matter if we kill people. I do it for fun sometimes. And I'm not talking about it in the games either. Right, 70 miles per hour. Ugh, sucks when we got to wait for the back of the train to go through it. Like we derail by accelerating right then. It just wouldn't have it. So it goes up to 70 for like a quarter mile. Not even that, a few hundred meters. And then it goes back down to 50 just to go back up to 70. That makes a ton of sense. Ugh. Some things, some things in this world are just stupid. Right, fair play. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Right, 50 miles an hour. If I put it in P2, then we should accelerate slow enough. Actually, you know, that didn't work last two times, times I tried it, where you accelerate so slow that you hit the next speedboard first, so I'm not going to try that. Yeah, we wouldn't have done it. 49, 50, P0, for like 0.1 of a mile. And back up to 70, because that makes an absolute load of sense. Come on, through the speedboard. And go for it. P2, let's go. Got Pinkman flavour in my vape. Very nice, it's like berry. It's quite nice. I do like my flavours in my vape. I don't do it for the nicotine, I do it for the flavour. I absolutely love some of the flavours. I did used to smoke, but I gave up uh, January before last, so about a year and a half now I've not smoked. And I tell you, if you do smoke, giving up is one of the best things ever. It is just so much better, you feel so much better afterwards. If you do smoke, honestly, I'd recommend giving up. 
Right, we had a whistle board then, so we have to unco a horn. One, two, I assume it's this crossing here, so I'll give him another two right beforehand. Boom, perfect. Right, we've got a station coming up, but look how small that platform is. We're never going to fit on that. So I'm just going to go straight through Who Junction, Staff Halt 2. Oh, it's a Staff Halt. I think that means you could you only drop off staff there. Not sure. Might be wrong. Probably am. Ooh, another little junction. Glad there was no one walking across that then. They wouldn't have heard us coming. 24 miles to go. We're going over there. That's not that bad. 24 miles. I have no idea how long that's going to take. Hopefully the speed limit's 70 or an over all the way there. Probably not though. That is a cool shot. I like that. Let's zoom out a little bit. Do I use the keyboard to zoom out, I think? But if you use the mouse wheel to zoom in, it does like a zoom, not a move the camera thing. It's like an actual zoom lens, which can be cool. You can get some cool shots using that. I'll see if I can demonstrate now. Yeah, like it, it just emphasizes everything. That's quite a cool shot. A nice little tracking shot there with that tower thing next to the track. That's pretty cool. Let's zoom back out though. And let's go first person again. Oh wow, I just caught that. I think. Yeah, I did. Ooh, that was close. Right, Higham. We are going to stop at Higham. Even though I've never heard of the place. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to... The headlights are in two for some reason. I think this should be in one, so... Nope. Oh, they are meant to be in two. Two is normally tail light. Okay. Uh, hang on a minute, why was we in neutral then? That's weird. Right, Hyam's just around this bend, so this break-in seems about right. No, ooh, that's going to be tough. I don't know if we'll fit the entire train on the platform. We're going to give it a go, though. It looks like it's just before this tunnel which isn't marked, marked on the map didn't mean to change camera angle then yeah it's just before that tunnel there so I'm gonna reduce the break in actually no it seems good I'll reduce it when we get a bit closer when we get down to about 20 15 something like that I don't know I normally judge these things by eye it just seems to be a better technique like it's not a very long platform so I'm gonna enter it a little bit slower than I usually would so at about 20, I'll reduce the brake a little bit. Put on min, B min, which I assume is the smallest amount of brake. It seems like it is. Perfect. Right, we probably should stay in the cab for this. That would probably be a smart idea. Right, give it a little bit more break now. Ooh, wrong way. Ooh, I think we just overshot it a little bit. Ooh, that's close. That was a close one. And open the doors. Come on, open the doors. Uh, no, I thought the wrong one's open then. Why? Am oh. Ah, uh, we must have missed our spot because the front doors aren't opening. That sucks. That's not cool. Oh, well, the one's all the way down here. Is the back of the train on the platform? I'm not sure. It should be like, if you hold A, you can move the camera faster. I don't know if there is a way to move the camera faster. But it would be cool if you could hold A and do it. Oh, yeah, the back of the train is. It just about fits, this train does. Right, back in. I think the doors are shut now. Yep, so let's go. Throttle on. Let's just go full throttle. We got a 70 speed limit. Why wouldn't we go full throttle? Straight into a tunnel. It's weird, normally tunnels are marked on the map, but for some reason this one's not. Oop, little power transformer there. I don't know what that AWS was for. There's a 15 warning there, but I can't see a 15 mile an hour speed limit anywhere on the map so I don't know what that's about not really sure 
but we're doing 50 already quite good acceleration good train this very fast but yeah it reminds me a lot of the class 800 i saw one of them the other day it went past my house and that's like the new train they've built for the great western main line which goes from i think it goes from london paddington to Bristol Temple Meads, it also goes down towards Taunton on the south coast, right there's the 15 limit, and we're speeding. And it also, there's a break off at Swindon which goes across to Cardiff, which I've actually driven on that, it's the South Wales main line. So, oop, we've come up to a new station, Strood. But yeah, I've driven on that in real life. I don't know why the speed limit is 15 miles an hour down there. This, <laughs> if the speed limit's like this all the way, we're never going to get to Faversham. We still have 21 miles to go. Right, the brakes were a bit too strong there. I'm just going to neutral it for a little bit. We're doing 50, we should be able to slow down. It's quite dark in this tunnel. It's a shame we can't go. I don't think you can go outside view in a tunnel. No, you can't. That's annoying. Why is the speed limit 15 at Strood? Unless we go into like a side in to go to the platform. It must be. Right, we probably should start slowing down now. Let's go 25% break, that should do it. Half a mile. I don't want to slow down too much. Oh, I just saw on the map then, there's another platform very close behind Strood. <clears throat> Don't know what that's about. And I think there might be a 20 speed limit all the way there as well, which wouldn't be fun. Right, 25% break, let's reduce it a little bit. Just be minimum. 0.25 miles to the 15 speed limit, we should make it. Excuse me. Strood. I've never heard of Strood. It's probably one of those small little towns. Right, we should. I'm going to break a little bit more. 25%. God, this is ridiculously slow, man. Right, now neutral. Come on, neutral. It don't matter if we're a little bit over. Coast in just over 15. God, that is a sharp corner. Jeez, they need to do something about that. Ooh, what is that? Is that a castle? That is a castle. There is a castle in Strood. Strood Castle, it's probably called. Well, we might as well stop since we're going so slow through here. I don't know why that's. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why that's so sharp, that corner. Probably built when steam trains were around. Oh, look at that, there's another train over there. That's pretty cool detail. It is a shame. <coughs> it is a shame. God, my head is messed with today. I haven't had much sleep. But it is a shame that there's not. Like, most of the routes in Train Simulator don't have AI traffic, which is kind of not very good, really. Right, we do need to start braking here. Oh, well, we're only going 8 miles an hour. Let's give it a minimum brake set in. We need to stop next to this signal here. Release the brake. <coughs> my throat. I'm always moaning about something in my videos. That's pretty funny. Right. Uh, yeah, let's give it a little throttle to move forwards a little bit. Right here should be fine. Perfect. And open the doors. I doubt this time the end of the train's on the platform. Don't know. Could be. No, it's not. I don't think. Very curvy platform, this one. There's... Yeah, the back of the train's not on the platform. It doesn't matter. I don't even know if this train would stop here in real life. Very... That's not bad, those houses there. They're a bit repetitive, but other than that. The model on this car isn't very good. I think it's meant to be a Ford Focus. Where it's a little bit boxy, basic. 
Train Sim World is, I've sort of seen videos of it, it is so much better, the detail and the modelling. That train's good, well modelled though. 375. Uh, that train's good models, I just cannot speak today. Oh yeah, that's secure, isn't it? Fence all the way along, then a brick wall to climb over. Makes perfect sense. I could use that as my thumbnail. Let's see if I can get a good angle on it. Uh, I want to emphasize the high speed train more than anything. Mm, not bad. But how can I make this look cooler? Bear in mind, I'll need to edit out the bottom bit as well, so I want it quite centralized. Um, that mouse wasn't in the way. That's not bad. Maybe have it a little bit more turned. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to print screen that. Screenshot, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool. 40 minutes in, still 20 miles away. Wow. I thought this was just going to be a quick route, but evidently not. Reset the brain. What the hell is doing that? Come on. You gonna reset any time? God. That's probably one of those devices where if you don't touch the brake or something in a certain time, it'll put the brakes on. If you don't touch control like every minute or so, it's probably that. It's just irritating. Might as well accelerate on P1, you know, with 20 mile an hour speed limit coming up. Got another sharp corner. There's another station around the corner. We pro I don't know if we're going to stop at that one. I doubt it. We might as well go straight through that one. Like, we just stopped at Strood, so it can't. It's probably another station in Strood, if that's what this place is called. We're going to go past the castle, it looks like. And it's like a cathedral on the left there. And a lovely bridge. Yeah, seems like quite a nice place there. No, no, we're not going past the castle, we're going left of it. Let's just hope the speed limit goes up any second, any time soon, like. I don't want to go 20 in 20 miles at 20 miles an hour. It's going to take a long time. In about an hour, actually. My basic math skills. Over a lovely river here. Let's go outside. See if we can get a nice... Ooh, that's nice. We could get a good thumbnail here as well. Always looking out for good thumbnails. A tape off. Uh, no, I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done? Turn that off. Zoomed out a little bit. Then mouse wheeled in. And as soon as we come off the thing. Ooh, that is good. That's a good thumbnail right there. Yeah, I like that. I think we're going to use that one instead. Definitely. That was a cool thumbnail. Right, another sharp turn coming up. Oh my... Game, I am actually going to go mental at soon. Right, reset. Yeah, neutral, uh, forwards even. At least the speed limit's 30 now. Got another track joining on to us. Don't know where that's come from. Rochester. I've heard of Rochester. Probably should stop there. But then we got Chatham afterwards. Screw it, we're just going to go straight to Faversham. God, we're speeding already, really. We're just going to go straight to Faversham. And end the journey. Because this has been a lot longer than I thought it would be, genuinely. Like it's four o'clock in the morning. No, three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, we're gonna go through Rochester and Chatham and all that, just straight to Faversham. I just really want the speed limit to go up soon. Yeah, another curvy station. They do like curvy stations in down here, apparently. Have a look around Rochester. Oh, we can go downstairs, probably not. No. Oh, yeah, we can. Just straight into a nothingness. This is like a prison cell in Turkey. 
But then the station itself is pretty nicely detailed. There goes our high speed train. Look at that, we're catching a high speed train with a camera. <laughs> wow. Oh, wrong way. Keep. Come on, break off. What are you doing, game? The brake is stuck on. Sometimes. Right now, I don't even know where my camera is. Right there. That's inside view. Very irritable today. Uh, red light. Son of a gun. We gonna stop? Oh, not sure. I think so. Yeah. Thank God. Oh, not enough to see it though. Damn. Uh, problem. No. Oh, we can see it using this camera. We do need to break though. Right, come on, red light. Oh, is that a train in the distance? Yes, it is. We're right behind another javelin. That's pretty cool. So there is other traffic on this line, apparently. We just need to wait for that train to go. Right, okay, guys. I've given it five minutes. That train down there is not moving. And if I press tab, it won't let us go through the red signal. So we're going to take matters into our own hands. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. We're going to push this train out of the way. If it ends the scenario, it ends the scenario. Who cares? So we're going to roll through this red light. Zoom out a little bit. And we are going to push that train out of the way. That was a cool inside view then. It's weird how the tunnel's so much lighter inside. Probably caused the lights in the train. But we're going to go up to this train. We're going to couple it up to it and try and push it out of the way. Which should be fun. <laughs> wow. I don't know why it's not moving. It's probably broken. But this route's been fun. If it does end the scenario, this route has been fun. We've managed to get up to 140 miles per hour. Managed to experience some slow stuff, so all in between. I'm probably going to do an American route next time. Right, I'm going to start braking. Might do an American freight route next time with one of those massive American freight trains. Maybe on the San Bernardino Pass or Cajon Pass, Canyon, whatever it's called. Right, let's see if we can couple up to this train. <laughs> this should be fun. I doubt we can. Here we come. Let's brake a little bit. Slow right down. What a stop. Oh. Now I can't accelerate. That's a bit daft. Can't see what I'm doing. Let's zoom in. Do we couple up to it or are we just going to drive straight through it? I don't know. Let's try. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, that's not what I want either. Right, let's go for it. Let's see if we can push this out of the way. Oh, I think we've connected. Yes, we can push this out of the way. Can we change carriages? I think it's shift tab. No, I'm not sure how the change ends. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. brilliant. Now I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, a couple. I want a couple. Where's the option gone? Whatever. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> We're just shoving this train out of the way. We're going to carry this train all the way to Faversham. I don't care, we are. It's going to be difficult because I can't see what I'm doing. I don't know how the change ends. Shift tab. Control tab. Nope. Now we can pass this signal at danger, that makes sense. Alt tap. Oh god, what did I do? I went out of my... <laughs> I went out of the game. That wasn't a good idea. Yeah, we're pushing this train all the way to Faversham. Why wouldn't I? 
I, I don't care. We're not going to stop anymore. We're just going to go straight to Faversham as fast as we can. 18 miles to go. <laughs> Let's go outside view. Oh, I'm enjoying this. This is funny. Two bridges in a row, identical, you know, why not? I cannot see the signals. I really can't. Oh god. I can't see what we're doing. <laughs> what if I try clicking on the other end? No. Right click? No. Not that then. I cannot see the signal. We're probably going to go flying through some red lights. Uh, what's the signal say up there? Can't see it. Oh, it's green. That's fine. <laughs> we're full throttle and we're barely accelerating. Braking's going to be fun. I wonder if it's connected. What if it's not connected and when we break that'll just go shooting off into the distance? Oh, that'd be fantastic. I hope that's the case. I really do, that'll be funny. I can't wait to start breaking now. Obviously this isn't how the scenario is meant to go, but <laughs> improvisation, you know. I have no, I cannot see a thing. I'm going to have to drive like this, probably. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I don't know how to change ends. I'd love to go in the front cab of that train. It looks like we're barely moving. Well, we are only going 33 and a 60. I am accelerating as fast as I can. Coming up to Gillingham. <laughs> what the hell? We now have an 18 carriage train. <laughs> oh, I'd love if it, I'd love it if we was going the other way. Just push this up the high speed line. That'd be brilliant. Get up to speed, brake, and this thing goes shooting off into the distance into the platform at 140. The driver of this train ahead of us must be like, what the hell is going on? That probably wasn't a red light we just went flying through. <laughs> this is so entertaining. Why are we slowing down? Ah, uh, emergency brake. No. There goes the train. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't, I, I don't know what to do anymore. Reset the brake. Ram into this guy. <laughs> oh, do you see a jolt then? It's gonna de cut. It's gonna derail at some point. I can just see it. <laughs> the driver of this train ahead must be like, dude, seriously, what the hell is going on? He was probably going mental at the dispatcher, like, dude, dude, I'm getting pushed down the track. That's a weird bridge. I don't think it is a bridge. What the hell is that meant to be? Is that really there in Gillingham? I have no idea. That's probably the station building. Because all the walkways are coming down off it. Yeah, that's probably what that is. We seem to be accelerating a little bit faster now. I really want to get up to speed and then have to brake for something and just go flying into the distance. Right, come on. What's the next signal like? Red? Of course. We're probably going to get another emergency brake now. Yep, there it goes. Why are all the signals red? Come on. No fun when the signals are red. Reset the brake, forward, and release. Nope, not letting it do it yet. Come on, reset. There we go, full throttle. If it happens again, if this train gets separated from us, I'm just going to floor it into it and derail both of us. That's what I'm going to do. I can't be bothered to deal with every single red light on the way there. <laughs> this is an awesome scenario. Oh my god. I think I've broken train simulator's physics. I don't know what to do right now. It's just like, oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> It's, it's his own fault, he was stuck. He wasn't moving, he was in my way, so I had to ram him. That's just how it works. Oh, 90 coming up, let's hope we can hit the 90. What I'm going to try and do, next signal, I'm going to press tab as we go through it. In the hopes that it'll say we can go through and it won't break us. 
that's that's what I'm gonna do. I want to get up to some decent speed though. Speed at 60 at the moment. We're going 25. No, what? can you stop breaking me, train? Like seriously. Okay, I know how we're gonna end this. Reset the brake. Reverse. This is how we're going to reset this. Get up to about 40. No, 30. Slam on the brakes. 90%. <laughs> you could probably guess what I'm going to do. My first ever derailment. Well, mm, I've never had an accidental derailment. I've had a few purposeful ones. Right, come on, we're going to ram this train. Oh, so I want to get a good camera angle of it. If the train starts overtaking the camera, I'm just going to change camera back to uh, third person. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. Boom. Ah, That wasn't as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Oh well, ladies and gentlemen, there is an 18 car derailment. Play a train derailment. Yeah, no sh... Not going to say that word, but know something, Sherlock. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. That's been absolutely brilliant. I enjoyed that. And I don't know when the next video is, but I'll see you then. Peace out, guys. <laughs> oh, wow.